Hi guys, another little 3D printed car. This one's supposed to be for a rubber band to power it, which is why it's got a gap at that end. I'm trying different hubs for the CDs, because I've got ones that I always use, and I just thought I'd try something different. Hi guys, I just 3D printed this little car so I could run a USB fan and make it a fan powered car in a straight line, no trouble at all. Going round in circles, you get a lot of drag from the wheels trying to go straight and the car trying to turn. Anyway, while I was printing that, I printed another body virtually the same but this one is just to run rubber band power so we'll put that one together and see if that works right when i printed the other one i redesigned my hubs that i use for going in the middle of cds and i didn't get the dimensions right these are supposed to be a tight fit and they're not they're loose so on this car, I held them in place with sticky tape. On this one, I happen to have some with my original CD hubs, which are a push fit, they clip in place. Um, they will still turn actually if you force them, but they're better than these new ones that I tried. So you've got to try things, experiment. Anyway, I'll use these on here. I think I've got another one there. Yeah. Well, I did use two of those new hubs that I'd done. I've just put loads of tape either side to hold them in place. So we'll get a rubber band and see how that one goes. All right. These yellow bands are pretty thin, so I've and they're quite short, so I've joined three together. So I'm going to go through that hole there. Like that. over the back axle, hold it and wrap it around itself and it will hold itself in place. There you go. So that works. I'll put the camera at the other end, see if we can actually hit the camera. So that works, nice and simple.